to get when he's on the floor. And I think Bradley Beal will be a huge beneficiary of playing alongside Russ as well. Indeed. Well, we'll send it out to Brooklyn right now. Ryan Rucco, Sarah Kustak on the call. GA and Ro P will be back. Neto brings it up for the Wizards. No fans in the stands for this start of the season here in Brooklyn. Neto's floater will drop, and Washington on the board first. And there's a endless list of things that we're watching for. I think the one thing that has piqued the interest of a lot of fans is Steve Nash and these players talking about what they're doing defensively and some of the philosophies on the defensive end as we saw some switching there. Irving from 14, can't can the fadeaway. Dinwiddie snares the rebound. Here's Durant to the rim, powers it down. Kevin Durant's first bucket in a Brooklyn uniform. Welcome back, seven. That jumper won't go from Brown and Durant with the weak side rebound. Steve Nash and Durant have both talked about him playing all five positions as Jordan flushes it down on the delivery from Durant. This is just a small taste of the variety of things that can happen on the offensive end with the options and with the talent. Durant, nice D there on Achimura. And now flings it up the floor for Harris. His three, short. And the rebound taken by Neto for Washington. It's the first of two preseason games the Nets will play in a truncated start to this season. Steve Nash talked about just wanting his guys to be out on the floor and get some continuity, a little feel for each other. Dinwiddie lobbed it up in traffic, and there was nothing doing for Jordan, who's a little shaken up afterwards. The rookie stepped out of bounds as Washington turns it over. Kevin Durant, don't leave him open. Look at him. Straight line drive, the ability to get to the rim with ease. You see his movements. That's something that, of course, you know, for a player and his individual self, I think we've talked about this. You get bronze, you've been playing in L.A., you've been working, you've been, you know, able to be on the practice floor. But still the feel of a game and the feel now. You love the fact that he's getting this opportunity, and it cannot be overstated despite his talent, his level of skill, just how much effort, how much work he's put in throughout the course of the last 18 months to get himself back. Durant gives it up. 10 to shoot. Here's Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie ducking inside. It looked like it should have been a goaltend, and it is. Bucket good for Spencer Dinwiddie. And there's only so many things you start to try and gauge things, but just everyone needs to stay attached because everyone is an offensive threat. Dinwiddie is going to have an opportunity, as you see the goaltending there, hitting the glass, uh, to go one-on-one. -on -one. And that's a part of this. For as much as we're focused on Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, everyone is going to reap the be benefits of the type of attention they're getting on the offensive end. Good hands by Irving, but then Durant turned it over. Here's Neto alone from the wing, unable to hit from three. And the rebound knocked out of bounds by Brown Jr., Brooklyn ball. And I do think this is one of the games, you know, Scott Brooks talked about in Washington, is a team you want to keep your eye on this season. The fact that they bring over Russell Westbrook, you got Bradley Beal, Davis Bertans, they re-sign, he's not playing. Uh, Ish Smith is out, Jerome Robinson out. This really is a game for the Brooklyn Nets. They are focusing on themselves and trying to figure out some of the areas that they want to work at. But Washington, you know, they've got some young players and, and the rookie, Denny Ab Abdia. Abdia? Abdia. Abdia. A lot of people excited about him. So I, I'm curious to see once they start getting everyone back what the Wizards look like and what they could do this year. Irving hits the free throw. Irving we have not seen since February 1st against Washington. Played 20 games in his first season with the Nets. Here's Irving, a quick spin. Cutting through. And banking it home. Beautifully done by Kyrie Irving. <laughs> I mean, he's got two guys on him, a hand in his face, someone that's a foot taller. And his ability to finish the angles using the glass. Oh, thing of beauty. A 9-2 start for Brooklyn as Irving got his hands in there, called for the foul. Kyrie Irving, of course, has 
some of the best handles in league history, Sarah, that Steve Nash has just been glowing over watching him in practice. Yeah, I mean, Steve Nash said he has a historic level of skill, and we're seeing that, and that is because of the effort the time he's put into this practice. There's the rookie, Avdia, out of Israel, the ninth pick in this year's draft, was the youngest player to ever play with Maccabi Tel Aviv, started his professional career at 16 years old, as Dinwiddie gets fouled on the drive, and Spencer Dinwiddie, who shot seven free throws per game a season ago, is going to get two here. There we go. Neto getting off the other ball, wide open. This is a part of it with his size, his ability to stretch the floor. talk about how much Steve Nash has glowed about Kyrie Irving getting to coach him in practice. He also, you can tell, he is a massive Spencer Dinwiddie fan. Yes. He has raved about Dinwiddie and also just the versatility that Dinwiddie brings and how well it fits around what Irving and Durant can do as that squeezed in from Brown. Well, adding to it the unselfishness and a willingness to play whatever role he's needed. Insists his way to the line and will shoot a pair. We're seeing on this team, we knew it was going to come, but the push, the ability to get out and go. Durant doing so, Kyrie, the quickness of movement with the ball. I think that's why when you talk about Spencer Dinwiddie, we're going to see this out of Karis LeVert. Is, is, you know, versatility has been the buzzword when it comes to this team and everything that we're hearing about. But that ability to play off the ball, play on the ball, be in different positions, you can create your own shot, you can go one-on-one. -on -one. Joe Harris is going to have a lot of open looks just by virtue of that. Defense is needing to make decisions on what they're going to do, how they're going to play. But even finding ways to get easy buckets, and we see that with some of the best teams in this situation that I mentioned, they can get, line, can get to the free throw line, can get some of those break early offense points, the second chance opportunities, some of the points off turnovers. Can you manufacture points in an easy way? A little trip there. That'll go against Dinwiddie. Foul against Brooklyn. A 13-7 lead for the Nets in their first preseason game of this incredibly anticipated year. With Durant back on the floor for the first time in 552 days. Edo threw two, got bodied by Durant and Jordan. And the foul is called. Neto will go to the strike. And Scott Brooks likes what Neto has been doing. I mean, he's come in, he's been aggressive. He's looking to attack. What we've seen so far, you know, some of the parts of this Nets defense, everyone is switching. Except DeAndre Jordan, uh, of course, is there to help off of some of those pick and rolls trying to protect the rim. But for as much as we're talking about Kevin Durant, his offensive prowess, what he could do, he's shown something on the defensive end, and we know, we know he has it in him on this end. To me, that will be one of the things that in his returning and coming back and getting his sweat on his legs and getting his feel, um, just that, that type of movement, a lot of the lateral movement that takes place on the defensive end, learning your timing, learning your timing with different players. Irving step back, jumper is smooth. Kyrie Irving. He can get to his spots. And a timeout taken by Washington. Four points thus far for Durant, five for Irving. And a seven point lead for Brooklyn in the early moments of this preseason. Kevin Durant. Trying to direct, being a leader, and let his teammate go to work. Kyrie Irving showing off the handles, the stop, the pop, the nets. Back out to Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Ryan Rucco, Syracuse style. That day in, day out, as far as competing goes on the practice floor, as Hachimura able to finish that over Durant. That matters, Brooks. That matters, and especially when it comes to not just you know, the first game or the opening of the season, but when you're midway through the year. Oh, that looks like the rain. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel I feel sweaty here. Uh, this is such a thing of beauty to watch. Oh, uh, Durant nearly came up with a steal there. He's been active on the defensive end. Hachimura can't finish. Dinwiddie the rebound. Durant leaking out. Here is Dinwiddie. Says, all right. Oh, no. 
Yeah, and then he had to grimace like, ah, should have taken that. Those happen. That's why you have these games. We're going to get back to your point. I keep thinking we're going to see a highlight play. Well, every time <laughs> these guys have the ball, you might. Irving now with seven points. He's three of four from the floor. Durant has six. The Nets are seven of nine shooting so far in this first. Hachimura got position on Dinwiddie and able to finish. Well, and Hachimura it, it had a very nice rookie campaign, but there's a reason why the Wizards are excited about him. And if you see it in his strength and very fundamentally sound. Irving puts it in, plus the foul. Oh, he is locked in. And this is reminiscent of what we saw to him last year, despite the fact that he was only able to play 20 games uh, due to injury. Two of those are 50 point game. He believes that every time he puts it up, regardless of where he's at, who's guarding him, who's in front of him, he is so crafty in his ability to get shots off and get himself open. But with you saying that, and I would put Kyrie Irving in, in that same idea, in, in many of these other Brooklyn Nets players, but if you come to a practice, if you show up, and you got guys that, one, love the game, and two, love to compete, it raises the level in the gym on a daily basis. We heard that on these guys. Joe Harris saying the scrimmages have been off the charts. I was talking to Joe yesterday, and he said these are the most competitive practices I've ever been a part of. Irving pushes ahead to Harris. Harris tried to whip it over to Prince. Prince just checking in with Jared Allen. As Dinwiddie and Jordan went to the bench, nice look to Rant to Allen, and Jared Allen draws the foul. This is the thing that we have seen. We've seen it in clips, highlights, but that shot, that release, Talk about him being a seven-footer and, and having to heighten the skill, but how high his release is, how many times that he has went over and over the habitual nature of working to get that shot what it is, how he works on his craft. That's what makes him one of the greatest scorers of all time because of those things that he could do. And even just in this last possession, Jared Allen at the line because of his vision, his ability to play make, to deliver passes, get guys open, all of those things. And as they continue to be around each other, learn each other, it's going to be a major facet to figuring out rotations and combinations and the things that Steve Nash wants to do with this offense. Walker gets loose for the jam as... Landry Shamit has checked into the game for Brooklyn, one of the new acquisitions acquired on draft night. Another nice piece to augment the star foundation here in Brooklyn. Prince around the Allen screen, tried to get it back to him, and a kickball is going to keep things here. Abdia Bryant working that pick and roll. You see the weak side cut. Miscommunication there on the side of Durant and Irving that left him open on the baseline. And those are these are the things that you work out and, and you want to keep working out. Steve Nash talked about it on the pregame. He said, we'll have the film, we'll have the tape, we'll see where some breakdowns come and how that happens. Durant fouled. Washington is over the limit. So Durant is going to shoot free throws, but I'm not sure if he was aware of that at first. Now he's walking back to the line. That's foul number two on Bryant. Durant, you guys know the credentials, but they're so lofty. Give they're worth, give to they're worth repeating. I... Ten-time All-Star, a four-time scoring champ, nine times All-NBA. You look at highest points per game in NBA history, only MJ, Wilt, Elgin Baylor, LeBron, Jerry West ahead of Kevin Durant's 27 points per game. Let's check in with the third member of our team, Michael Grady. Coach, Coach, well, Coach you mentioned versatility a few times. There are a number of guys on this roster who can play two to three positions. Even Kevin Durant is going to be used in different ways, likely spending some time at the five. The mismatches that could create in certain situations will be a nightmare for opposing teams. So each player entered camp with an open mind of usage, trusting the coaching staff to get the most out of the weapons at his disposal. What do you think about that, Durant, as a small ball five or stretch five? Absolutely yeah. love it. 
love it in all facets. And, and that, again, goes back to where a lot of this looking at personnel combination, when you have that many guys on the team that can play multiple positions. Shamit back to Durant. Can't finish, but does get fouled. And Kevin Durant goes for a little walk upset with himself, but he will shoot two free throws. I uh, love the way he's getting up and down the floor. And once again, it goes back. His aggressiveness on the defensive end, the hands that sh pick up by Shannon, sees him trailing behind. Get it and go. We've seen a good amount of early offense and pushing the tempo, pushing the ball by this Nets group, in particular Kevin Durant. But yeah, I mean, it, it gives you so much to play with. And, and I know we'll continue to dive into this and do more games, get deeper in the season. Just Steve Nash, the, the extraordinary coaching staff that is surrounding him. The ability to be creative and experienced in how you're going to look and attack different teams. But I think just every night having the options to look at your matchup, look at the matchup, see the opponent, and where you can find your strengths and really pick apart some of those things and how you can attack the team and go against. 11 point Brooklyn lead. Durant now with nine points. Irving with nine in this first quarter, the preseason opener. No fans in the building, which everybody said would be an adjustment. It's a different feel when you're in a big arena than what these players experience in the bubble in Orlando, which was a much smaller gym. But Tory Prince said, you know, if you spend time in the G League, it won't be that hard of an adjustment for you. Guys were used to playing in bigger arenas without a lot of fans. Irving a deep three, and Kyrie has come out hot. Five of six from the floor, 12 points. For Kyrie Irving and a timeout taken by Washington. Bring it up. Create some space. He's got a lot of it. The release. Ooh, looking good early on here in this first quarter. Stock and I will be in our Yes Network studios for pre and post game coverage as well. As all of that coverage on our Yes social channel is going to do a lot of fun stuff throughout the game. So make sure to hang with us. And Ian will join us on the pregame as well. So make sure you're locked into Yes's coverage for the opener on December 22nd. It's wild. This feels, everything feels wild. Even you talking about the opener. Oh, yeah. This is, this is wonderful, though. It's extraordinary in, for all of these indi individuals to be back on the floor. Durant, one leg, sure. Easy for KD. 11 points in his first quarter. And he has not missed three of three from the floor. Yeah, because he makes it look easy. He makes it look easy because he knows where he needs to get to. The amount of balance he has, his release, I mean, the, in the strength he brings. I shot by Jared Allen trying to redirect that screen, but just look at him work in the physicality. And that's where, you know, we go down the list of, of all of his qualities and talents and the reason that he can score. But I think despite the fact that he has that lean frame, he is strong and he knows how to work angles and body up with guys. Durant trying to get to the volley. He does. Five to shoot. Shamit looking to create. Doesn't get the roll. Irving and Durant thus far have combined for 23 points on eight of nine shooting from the floor in this first quarter. I, Six of eight from the line. I feel like we're saying their names a lot. I have a feeling we <laughs> might be throughout this season, yeah? As we, I, I feel like we, which is, which is a very good thing. Durant gets called for the foul there, and we'll check out. Irving will take a seat as well. Dinwiddie and new acquisition Jeff Green into the game, but a sparkling start for both Durant and Irving. Durant and Irving both expected to play somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes tonight, according to Steve Nash. Was that a synchronized head turn there from Durant and Irving? I think that was. They're in lockstep. And the three drops down. For Tori and Prince, a 33-18 lead. You know that Twitter handle, Sarah. We've talked about this, where they have the synchronized movements that they'll post the little videos of. I think that the Rand Irving. Alert them? No, I think you somebody need to find out their handle and let them know that we've got we may have the first synchronization of I, the season. I think that was synchronization number one. Is that drops in high off the window from Dinwiddie? I think you get on Twitter tonight, you're going to see that synchronization. 
our NITS our, our NITS fans and NITS Twitter is excellent at it. So maybe someone can create their own of just purely Kevin Durant Kyrie Irving synchronization. The spin from Wagner can't finish. Shamit the strong side rebound. Out there with Allen, Jeff Green, Torian Prince, and Spencer Dinwiddie. Prince find Shamit. You bet. On a three. Nice decision from Prince, and Shamit took advantage. Some nice possessions early for Torian Prince, making the extra pass. But Henry Shamit can knock down shots. And it's good to see this happening early because we're making jokes about saying Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant's names a lot. We are, but the depth of this team is what will provide strength and how guys find their roles and find some comfort in what they can do and where they're placed on the floor. You want to see the synchronization, I do, Sarah? I do, because I didn't see it quite as yeah, clear ready? as you. Ready? Here we go. They're looking one way and then, whoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. I'm guessing someone said something. Oh, how about the fro incorporating football? Got a lot of soccer fans. Steve Nash, he, he's yeah. very proficient not only at basketball, maybe they're doing some soccer drills and practices. You never know. Robin Lopez firing away from deep, something he's added to the repertoire, not with to use your word, the proficiency that his brother has, but he's added it. I took a deep dive into Robin Lopez's three-point shooting throughout the course of the last few seasons. I didn't realize he took over 100 threes last year with Milwaukee. Yeah, he did. 30%, but... And for his career at 29.5%. Yeah, a lot of... For as much as we're saying that, and again, we see... Uh, Russell Westbrook on the bench, Bradley Beal, those that we want to see in the game. But just it, it, the, I, I'm really curious, fascinated. There's so many new faces in different places here this season, and the way teams shake out, it's it's just such a wonderful time for all of us to have basketball back. Dinwiddie got tripped. Washington over the limit. Dinwiddie is going to shoot two. Isak Bonga called for the foul. A new for 2021, the incredibly popular Brooklyn Nets Classic Ooh. Edition Collection. Pay homage to Nets history Gosh. by wearing throwbacks from the 1991 season. Visit netstore.com to get your Classic Edition merchandise now. Do you know what it crossed my mind? I don't. Which is a, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. The Brooklyn Nets have always been extraordinary to us, which we are so grateful. Are you about to ask for gear on the air? I'm not going to ask for it, but sometimes they gift us with jerseys, which we so appreciate. Your birthday is next week. Oh, no, those are, those are sharp. Dinwiddie, the heave won't go. The Nets put up 38 in the first, 11 from Durant, 12 from 